Hello everyone, welcome to MDLR Fishing. Today we are gonna try to make a go of fishing the seawall in Galveston. With springtime being upon us, uh, there's a lot of contention between cold fronts rolling through and then our normal south winds trying to push through and when they meet each other, well, they get upset and they start peeing all over our parade. So lots of rain in the forecast today, but I'm gonna try to get out there and fish those rock growings. I got my jetty set up right here. Hopefully there's gonna be some specks, maybe even some reds out there near the rocks inside those guts right off the surf. So let's see how that's gonna turn out. I'm gonna be very light, fast and mobile. I'm gonna take this right here. This is my pond hopping sling pack and We'll take all the tackle out of there, put in something like from my jetty pack up, which is a lot of spoons and stuff like that. Gonna stick with nothing but artificials. So my work is cut out for me, but I've got to give it a go. I really want to find out when this bite's going to turn on because when it does, it is going to be fire for the next several months. So y'all wish me luck. Let's hurry up and get out there. I sure did pick some nasty conditions to come out and try to fish, huh? <laughs> Southwest winds. Oh my gosh, this is... We, if we already didn't have our work cut out for us, well, we just threw another, like, what would you call it? Another log on the fire. The beauty of Galveston's coastline, about 250 to... 350 yards of this stuff right here so as far as the eye can see this is what you have to look forward to and that's what makes our coastline unlike everybody else's try launching from this stuff right here here we go we'll start things out with a little half ounce johnson splinter spoon real quick about the setup this right here is an eight foot two inch long custom rod and I've got a Shimano Stella 4000 series spooled with 30 pound Power Pro. I've got approximately 280 yards to 300 of that stuff. We're using a 30 pound mono leader and then the spoon. Oh my gosh, this is really nasty. So uh, let's get wet, right? There we go. It's called getting wet right there. This one's gonna get us. Oh my gosh. Swapping out, this spoon is not heavy enough to be able to withstand the swells and that current that's being put on it. So let's get a one ouncer. Here we go. See how this works for us. <clears throat> yeah, this definitely is not getting the job done. Let's uh, remove this fella and put on. I'm just gonna go with the big guns, the three ouncer. There we are. We got out the big guns. This is what I normally throw at the jetties for jacks and bull reds. Span big old Spanish mackerel. Feels good throwing the jetty set up again. Be nice to get a, a good solid hookup. I'm not gonna hold my breath on that though. Oh my gosh, that guy just launched out there. Now, now I can feel the spoon really digging deep. There we go, baby. Just call somebody for us. Puts out a lot of wobble. You can see the rod tip working big time. There's the last cast right over here. Been throwing pretty much this whole direction right here, fan casting it. And that's gonna be the last one. No bites, no nothing. Let's switch sides, come over here, fish 
this area just a bit and then if anything we're gonna move locations it's not that I don't think there's anything in here it's it's really bad I mean the surf man it's pretty nasty just made it to another spot it looks pretty protected out there very calm water however we've got lots of mosquitoes because of the marsh grass around here what I'm gonna do is swap out my spoon for something that is a little bit more likely to work here and that's going to be a paddle tail oh look at that this would actually work it's pretty big pretty crusty too it's an underspin but there's no shine to it let's move big bertha off girl back inside there boy we are not going to get broke off we're using some heavy stuff today <laughs> what happens when you only bring one setup all right let's make this happen no mosquitoes no mosquitoes please no mosquitoes all right well we're gonna have to do some wade fishing hope the water ain't cold judging by the jetties it was a little bit cold oh yeah it's still cold oh my god yeah, this ain't gonna happen today. This water is a freezing. Oh my gosh. We'll see how much I can handle it. And then we're gonna have to move. Uh, ain't no moving about it. We'll, we'll probably have to go back home. This is cold. Oh. That is a blow up way over there. I think I'm gonna walk out that way because that's my best shot at catching something hopefully there's not going to be a serious dip in the water but right alongside the grass there's a blow up and that's got to be a redfish could be a flounder but in my experience more often than not that's going to be a red we're going to work our way we've got quite a ways to go too but i hope that's not a bird please don't be one of those little brown birds oh my gosh it's getting getting deeper we're up to the thighs <laughs> we're up to the thighs and we're shivering what's up buddy where are they at can you please let me know okay that was it it didn't get any deeper than that oh my gosh I was like we can't go past them thighs because then uh, it's going to get bad really quick all right where are you bud you got to be out here somewhere, huh? If you're hungry, I mean, this ain't going to feed you. Oh, that looks like a swell coming. Uh oh, that is a swell coming after it. Oh my gosh, that was a swell coming after my lure. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're just going to run it up again right there. I don't see that swell anymore. That had to have been him, for sure. 100% had to be that redfish. It looked just like a redfish swell going straight after my lure. I was just preparing, bracing myself for that hit. It didn't happen though. I'm thinking the underspin, I need to take it off. Oh my gosh, that really hurts. All right, so that went exactly the way i thought it was going to go uh no need to worry we're going to regroup i'm going to take a look at google maps and tomorrow's forecast and pick the perfect spot to get out there and pluck a fish out of the water so i want to thank you all for watching i sincerely appreciate the love and support that y'all show and until next time tight lines y'all <laughs>